so first of all what is the definition of forest forests are large tract of land forests are large tract of land which is covered by trees which is covered by trees it should stretch some hundreds of kilometers and it should covered by trees not only trees small plants creepers grasses everything should cover with the less interference of human beings with the less interference of human beings this is the second feature and third one biodiversity it should have biodiversity means uh, plants living things birds animals has to live together if you observe forests are useful in many ways particularly tribals tribals use this uh, forest as a for their shelters and they grow the vegetables in that and also uh, they gather fruits then also tubers they get from that next to the hand animals then cultivation particularly podu or uh, jhum cultivation is done by the uh, tribals in forest area nothing but they clear the forest of little bit land then after they will burn the remaining uh, what we have the remains then the land is used for growing crops such type of jhum or uh, podu cultivation is uh, uh, done by the tribals in the forest area like forests are very beautiful scenic manner so it is used for tourism purpose also next uh, birds animals are living it is a living place for birds and animals means biodiversity what we discussed next uh, wood and timber we get wood and timber we get means uh, forest uh, nearby people they make some tools uh, agriculture related tools by that wood in our houses also windows doors benches everything are made with uh, that one and fuel fuel means uh, firewood for cooking purpose that are tribals and uh, who are living nearby that uh, forest they use that wood and timber next uh, forests are useful for animal husbandry grazing rearing purpose of animals purpose it is uh, useful medicinal plants ayurvedic medicines from the roots and uh, uh, different different things we get from that uh, plants next uh, people earn their livelihood which type of livelihood means uh, they get some income for example bd leaves bamboo sticks okay such kind of uh, people by selling that products they will get some income next uh, oxygen important one is uh, oxygen that is very important for the livelihood on this earth so life is existed due to oxygen on this earth that we get from the trees and plants so more forests are present means more oxygen that we get and another one is controls the pollution co2 carbon dioxide is uh, uh, minimized with the uh, forest because forests are trees are absorbing that uh, carbon dioxide releasing the fresh air so we can minimize the pollution which is very important to exist a life on this earth next we get rainfall if you observe regularly forest areas will get more rainfall and where we have less forest there we get less rainfall so forests are useful to get rainfall next uh, when floods happens at that time trees are stopping the flow of water trees are stopping the flow of water the speed will be slowed down so floods will be controlled by the trees surrounding the river areas next uh, recharging ground water is possible recharging ground water is possible how means uh, uh, when the water speed in a flood flood time will be controlled or stopped slow down by the forest slowly water percolates into underground like the ground water will be increased next uh, we get paper we get uh, paper obviously paper is made such type of other products gum gum resin everything next uh, bamboo bamboo oils such kind of products we get next uh, soil erosion will be stopped soil erosion yes good soil is moving along with the uh, water flow from our area to another area we are losing that soil so soil erosion will be stopped by the forest okay these are the uses of a forest